Beautiful day, beautiful house. We're gonna do a little bit of yard work. All right, before we tie too deep into this job, Mr. Millennial. NYA Millennial. You don't have your shirt on this morning. I don't have to correct you. I had my hoodie on, but it got <laughs> hot fast. Let's, uh, let's catch them up to speed on this particular project. We come in here and dug the crawl space on this job. What was it? Uh, two, three months ago? Yeah, roughly. And uh, this is one of those jobs that I don't know why, but at the time we were in a hurry. We just got it done. It did not get videoed. I know you guys find it hard to believe we don't video everything we do. So we dug the entire crawl space in four hours. <laughs> this is true. It was <laughs> it was a slam bam, thank you, ma'am job. We were we were kind of passing through and, and heading out. So, anyways, we dug the crawl space. We were actually gonna do the ICF on this project and ended up subbing it out to uh, Matt in our excavation. Actually, we didn't sub it out, we kind of passed it along to him, I guess is the best way to do it. But this is a complete ICF house and unfortunately we don't have any video of that either but the house is coming along pretty good it don't quite have drywall on it our job today is to finish the yard and get the drainage right around the house but uh I think we should take a house tour first oh definitely I haven't been in it yet I haven't either I see a, I see a big open door and, let's go and we uh, know the customer well enough that uh, he'll know we're the ones who track mud through it <laughs> I was gonna say unfortunately we'll have have video evidence somebody should really do some yard work around here this oh. drainage this drainage is just horrific right, that's so. the best he gets crawl space entrance came out nice yeah right there in the garage yeah. but uh as you guys can see it is a complete icf house this is one thing we done a lot when we were building houses is come back and pour thin set in the bottom of those doors that uh, really levels up that seal very nicely Works good, Matt got a little, I'm gonna, I'm gonna judge all Matt's ICF work. Oh yeah. Little, little work there could be done. But, uh, don't look too shabby. It's gonna be a nice house. Everybody wants to know how you run electrical. This right here is the primary way to do it. It's always best to go down the hill or down the wall instead of across the studs. That looks like it was cut with one of the chainsaws, which is the method we always used. Hot knife is much cleaner, but that works pretty well. Looks like someone wants to be an artist. Yeah, this is not a requirement in our area for his code as far as putting the foam back, but it's not a bad idea to go ahead and go ahead and do that. So I'm looking to see if there's any plumbing around anywhere. Got the cabinet layout on the floor. Yes. Big rear door. Uh, come up to the crawl space. They don't have it. Yeah, they don't have any plumbing in the walls there, but it's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same concept. So, I would tell you what room is what, but I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure this is the master suite side of the house. Yes. Nice cathedral ceiling in here. This will all get spray foamed and cocooned. A couple other bedrooms. Electrician's working hard. So I'm constantly kind of uh, critiquing Matt's ICF work. You guys will notice they got a few shims on top of the trusses right there. That's not completely uncommon with ICF. I don't know, I haven't studied it enough to know what's going on, but one thing I always caution my framers about is the top of that wall is rarely just absolutely perfect so it's always a good idea to stretch a string across there and kind of uh shim those trusses just right there's still plenty of truss in the bracket up there so no issues there whatsoever but looks good it's gonna be a nice house yeah one heck of a power wheels course in here yeah and i have one heck of a view yep all right I think we've uh, I think we stalled long enough. It's time to go. It's time to go do something. All right, so this is what we got going today. This is our task at hand. Enough nosing around, as you guys can kind of see. 
they let the house filled into a belt out level there we know the crawl space on this house they purposely wanted the floor about four feet off the original elevation which would give them the view i don't know if you guys can see but they got an awesome view out over the river out there this pile of dirt here was left over from digging the crawl space so that'll come back up here around the house i believe matt's gonna hop on the d4g start bringing some of that in we actually got the 850 up here there's a big rolling knot right there so we're gonna take the 850 and bring some of that dirt over here and uh, basically kind of fill this in the house is ne not necessarily gonna be up on a pedestal where everything is sloping to the house now we want to get everything sloping away the garage guys are here they're pouring concrete on the floor over here but uh, they'll be poured out here they'll be poured out here relatively shortly they should be out of our way that's looking good. But anyways, we're going to go over here, get uh, fueled up, get our fluids checked, and uh, go to town. Matt's filling the dozer up. I'm going to fill myself up this morning. That's all you're worried about is you. It's, it's going to be a good day today. I don't know what the, I don't know what my issue is today, but I like, like I'm motivated, but there's like no pressure. Is it because I'm leaving hard, at one o'clock today? Hard, it's hard to drink for the town yeah. there. I think it's because we're not digging a big hole in the ground that may or may not fill up with water before yeah. we're ready. Yep, if you push too much dirt and you get it close and it rains, it's okay, come back when it's dry. Exactly. No big deal. All right. I guess we need to uh, check fluids in this one. That one's all ready to go. Dozer's been doing pretty good. Probably starting to get all the bugs worked out of it. Wow. Oh. Hope that don't jinx it. Look at that, right on the full mark. Still good there. Let's see if this thing will start. Oh my, let me in. If I don't fix this, Jerry will have a conniption fit next time he runs this dozer. He's only asked you seven times to fix it. No, I did this the other day up there on that lake job, pushing them trees back at the very end. Oh, this isn't a loose cap, it's a big no. cap. Shh. Nope. Look at that. That looks a little better. Oh yeah. Alright, first thing we need to do this morning is get this uh, topsoil stripped off. We want to save all the topsoil we can because it's kind of hard to come by in these parts.
scraping the topsoil here, so it's not like we're trying to take a whole lot of dirt off. Any action here? We got a concrete truck stuck. Gotta help out a fellow contractor here. We're trying to push it out with the skid steer with not much luck. We'll get him back here. What we already stripped, he should have some traction from there.
Well, this is where we're gonna have to kind of end this one out here for the end of the day. Matt had to run off and I got a few other obligations this afternoon I gotta take care of. As you can see, started getting this field in pretty nice. It was very wet material, so this material here, I've just kind of left piled up roughly. Maybe the sun, maybe the wind will dry it out a little bit tonight, but our borrow pit is looking great. You can kind of see the transition, just kind of the nice steady path we're gonna have uphill into here. Driveway will hopefully shoot up that way. Concrete guys got their pad done. It looks very nice. They did a very good job on the concrete. They should be proud of that. I'd be proud of that if I poured it, but we're gonna head out of here for this evening. I believe Jerry is gonna come back and help us tomorrow. So uh, we'll let him run the beast here for a little bit and I'll probably hop on the little D4. Matt's gonna be gone tomorrow. See if we can't come pretty close to getting this thing roughed in. Matt got, I don't know if you guys can see the dirt right there. Matt did get most of the way behind the house uh, with the dirt coming from the front yard. And I'd say we got about two thirds of the dirt we need here. We still need some around the barn. And then obviously we're gonna need a little bit here and there to make sure we get transitioned in good. But uh, that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. See you guys then. All right guys, good news and bad news this morning. I'll give you the good news first. Jerry has made it to work and he is in his happy place in the 850. The bad news is, remember all this dirt I piled up here hoping the sun would dry it out? Well, guess what? We got a little bit of rain last night and the absolute opposite happened, but it moved through here pretty quick. I think we're gonna be all right. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna do what we can here this morning and see what happens.
All right, Jerry's getting along pretty good. We're gonna hop on the D4 here, get this uh, drill fired off. So you guys, I picked up um, IsoTune sent this to me. They're Bluetooth OSHA approved hearing protection, which is obviously something I need to do a better job of wearing. They sent me a couple different variables. This is the one I like the best. I really like these so far. They're called the Aware Series. And basically, whenever there's uh, not a threatening noise, you can pretty much hear them normal, kind of like uh, shooting muffs. And then uh, you can kind of hear them kick in and out and protect your hearing. I have really liked these. I have really enjoyed these. I probably should have featured them in more videos, but I haven't. I will put a link in the description to these if anybody's interested. They got uh, several different versions from the uh, earbuds uh, to uh, headphones to the muffs, uh, all the above. So pretty cool little company. Actually, the ISO Tunes company is, is pretty local to me as well, which is uh, pretty cool. So pretty nice of those to send these to me. I've had them for probably three months and just now getting them in a video so i apologize for that but i've had plenty of time to uh, product test and uh yeah they get the dirt perfect uh stamp of rule all right jerry jerry is getting anxious here we need to do something You guys gotta see the system this morning it's working fairly well jerry's basically bringing dirt up here i'm trying to take the small machine and bust it up and get it worked in here around the house this stuff is just so wet and so clumpy it's hard to really get anything finished on it hopefully the sun will come out here in the next day or so we go around the house kind of fine tune everything after it dries out a little bit this is one of those arguments with the skid steer would be better to do this versus the dozer possibly but the skid steer is on a different job those are here so we're gonna make it work but pretty much got the front of the house done i'm gonna set you guys down here and let you watch we're gonna go down this side of the house kind of clean the cut area up and probably uh, track in these topsoil piles. The Hobar guy 
guys need to get cut on the backside. There's a couple downspout drains and some random stuff that still needs to go in around the house now that we're done. Long story short, we got some weather coming. I want to kind of get this tidied up to where everything drains and these piles don't soak up water because we'll probably be back here in maybe uh, two or three weeks. We'll put the topsoil back on. We'll power wreck it out, possibly even see it strolling. So. I'm not going to bore you guys with cleaning up windrows. Let me uh, let me get this cleaned up, let Jerry get that cleaned up. And then we'll kind of walk around and I'll show you what we got. Well guys, there you have it all roughed in. Everything is draining this way away from the house where before it was draining back this way. Got it all kind of pushed up there loosely along. Got all that filled in. That was all draining down between the houses and now it kind of drains out and around the barn. Barrel pit over there is... Uh, cleaned up rather nicely everything is coming along good we did not put any of the topsoil back like i mentioned before we're kind of waiting to make sure everything is good and make sure nobody's gonna make a mess in here running down spout drains or anything uh anything random but uh we'll rock around the back side here kind of check it out i don't know what they're doing between the siding and the uh dirt a little bit of icf still exposed there and i'm sure they we got a little bit of a plan we got this all tapered out that pitch will basically carry along behind the back side of the garage we got a little bit of work for the framers to do back there so they can get out of our way should have enough dirt left over to do that got everything filled in right here and then if you guys remember when we started this remember how elevated that uh pole barn was and now it's basically ground level would that be best way to put it but uh barrel pit Yard transitions into it really nice. Jerry went through and tracked all of our topsoil piles in. We are expecting a little bit of rain here later, so that should uh, kind of keep it from getting too nasty. That's going to be a wrap on this one, guys. Hopefully we'll be back at some point, maybe uh, putting topsoil down, seeding strong, a little bit of rocks for the driveway. There's still some work to be done, so hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give the video a little thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel out, which I appreciate. Like what you've seen, consider subscribing because uh, you definitely don't want to miss out on what's coming up next. Either way, sure hope we catch you on the next one, guys.